That's quite a hot day. This thing is broken. Seriously, how many times does it break within a week? Uh. <sighs> Hi, this robot that we made is an automated fan and it was created by us from Robotics Connection. Um, you are? And I am J1D. Uh, you are? Jin Yo. Yep, and another team member, Sean Chick, um, who did the hardware part. Um, he is currently not available, sadly. So basically, our Arduino fan is consists of um, Arduino Uno that controls the motors as you can see we have two motors for the wheels and two for the fans so that's four DC motors, motors in total we have a LCD display also we have a temperature sensor that actually senses um, the hottest part in the room and later my team member will explain to you how it works we also have an IR sensor and that is used for um, you can override the fan if you want it to face you and um, yep now I would like to uh, hand over to my team member <coughs> so this is our current code which is going to be the remote control code the manual overdrive for our robot and currently uh, we have some samples and we will be using some basic definitions and things like and things to set up our general code and if we scroll further down uh, we have a bunch of variables which set our <coughs> pins in which we will be outputting our signals to the motors themselves uh, here we'll be just be setting the things for the output if we go here, uh, we, here we have some lo basic logic circle circuits and if then s statements to determine if we get a certain IR value from our remote control, uh, which is sent out by it when we press a, whenever we press a button, uh, we will set a certain values to our motors, so they will turn in certain directions, and and it will continue like that because of the four buttons. And if we continue on. And that is basically the purpose of this current program. It, uh, in overall programming has not been completely finished and put together, but in the near future it will be. Hello, I'm going to be explaining this circuit. This right here is a temp. Well, this is something that we're hoping to implement onto the robot later on. This is a temperature sensor here, which is wired up to an LCD, and hopefully it will be displaying the temperature on the LCD, so you can manu manually check. Um, the temperature sensor will also be wired up to the robot, so it can automatically know where it needs to point its fan.